There are many ways to navigate. For example, we could use pilotage and dead reckoning, and that is where you choose a logical course across the ground and you fly that heading and you compare what you see on the ground with what you see on the sectional chart. We can also use ground-based nav aids such as VORs, which we're about to talk about, or NDB stations, which are kind of going by the wayside. They're not as common anymore, and the ones that are breaking, the government is choosing not to fix. Um, you can also use air navigation, such as GPS. We're going to talk about the VOR navigation that's still in use and very common today. And what VOR stands for is Very High Frequency Omni Directional Range. And I know that seems like quite a mouthful, but if you really look at what, it's, what, it, what these words mean, it helps you to understand what the facility actually does. We can have low frequency or high frequency radio waves. For example, on your, your radio in your car, you have AM and FM. So this is the equivalent of your FM radio. The big difference between them is a low frequency wave can follow the curvature of the Earth, but it won't go very far. Whereas a high frequency range can go a great distance, but only in a straight line. And then omnidirectional, omni meaning multiple or many. So omnidirectional means that it will produce a signal in all directions, 360 degrees, matter of fact. And range is, it, it has a limit to it. It can only go just so far. So a VOR, which stands for Very High Frequency Omnidirectional Range, is a nav aid or a ground-based nav aid that we use to navigate by. And you can see them pretty easily from the air. Anything lower than probably 5,000 feet, you can uh, see them at, they're usually in an open pasture. And they, they vary just a little bit in the shape, but typically they'll look almost like a uh, bowling pin or something in a bowling alley. But anyways, these VOR frequencies, um, they project 360 degrees. And then we use these projections to navigate by. We can either fly to the station or from the station. And the equipment in your airplane that we use are your VOR indicators. And on your uh, navigation radio, you put in the frequency associated with this VOR. So let's say, for example, this was the Greenwood VOR, and the frequency we, we would use is 115.5. And we would put that into our, um, our, our nav. So we'll say this is our nav 1. We will put 115.5 in there. And that now has our VOR indicator uh, working in conjunction with it. Now on the knob it says OBS, and OBS stands for Omni, meaning multiple, bearing, we can choose many bearings, selector. So we're going to select the bearing that we want. And I'm going to erase this for a moment and we'll look at an aerial view to help simplify this. So let's say for example, um, there was a station here on the ground and you wanted to navigate, we'll use north and south. So if this is the station on the ground and you're navigating to the station, you're actually flying 360 degrees. So what you would do is you use your omni bearing selector and select that radial 360 degrees. And the center, there's a little circle and then usually five dots on either side and a needle. The needle now represents your course across the ground. So you have selected 360 degrees in relation to the station, and you're flying to the station. So it has a two indicator on the side. As you continue to fly to the station, and you ended up right on top of the station, the, the thing doesn't know if you were to or from it. So it goes into the zone of confusion or the area of ambiguity, and it'll simply flag out. It can't decide if you're to or from. So it shows neither. Once you pass by the station, now you're on the from side because you're traveling away from the station. So you would get a from flag like that. So what we've done is we just selected the course we want to fly in relation to that VOR. And we flew to the station, then we were over the station, and then we simply flew from the station. But we never changed our course because that was the bearing we selected to travel across the ground in relation to that uh, ground-based nav aid, the VOR.